Hi, Hi Brandon. Brandon. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. It feels like it's only been five lawyers since I saw you last. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you and I get together, it can be a wild, wild night, Panty, but let, let's, uh, let's uh, keep it country tonight. Um, so can I ask, uh, Rory was here the last time, obviously. I know that you really wanted to come along as yourself, as Panty tonight. Was yeah. there a particular reason for that? Well, there's a few reasons. Um, first of all, I think Panty's just more fun and more interesting. And um, also, Panty's been designed for public consumption. I mean, that's okay. one of the good things about doing drag. You have like this public persona and a private one. And then also, you're, you're saying I, you won't be letting Rory out again. Yeah, I know. No, well, well, if I had my way, it would always be panty. Sometimes, it, you know, I didn't wake up looking like this. I might go to bed looking like this, but I did not wake up <laughs> looking like this. So sometimes, for practical reasons, it's easier to send Rory out in a T-shirt. Okay. But um, well, also, I, have to I say, thought it'd be really... nice to draw a line under our thing. You know. Yes. 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 <laughs> and I, I don't. We definitely don't need to go into all of no. that again tonight. But let's talk about what happened afterwards because. I think um, for, for you, Panty, it, it probably was a life-changing thing. Was yeah. it in a good way or a bad way or a mixed way? Um, I, I, mostly good. Um, in the beginning, um, it was horrible. <laughs> it was sort of stressful and upsetting and weird and all of those things. Um, and then over time, it, it, it turned into, I think, a good thing. Um, not just for me personally, but I think it turned into a good thing for the country. I think the country needed to have that conversation. And no matter what side of you're on, I think it was good that we had the conversation. Um, and in general, I think for me, it's been a good thing in the end. Uh, people are lovely about it. Um, it's given me opportunities. And one of the big things it did for me is, um, you know, I've been doing this for 25, 30 years or whatever. And we won't get into that part. And, um, <laughs> and uh, one of the things that I've always found is that people in general, Unless they're, you know, a gay who hangs out a lot in, you know, clubs who have drag queens, they have a very limited idea of what a drag queen is. Usually from, you were on holidays in Lanzarote once, you ended up in some bar, you saw a drag show, and you think ever after that that's what a drag queen is. But of course, drag queens are just like stand-up comedians or whatever. They're all kinds of different ones, and they're all different, and some of them are amazing, and some of them are terrible. And um, so people have that limited thing. And before that, all that kerfuffle, um, I was always having to fight against that. And so when I'd be doing my theater shows and that, mm -hmm. I'd always have to try and persuade people that it was worth paying a theater prize ticket to go and see the, a show in a dragon. Yes. Where, because people don't really take it seriously very much. No, Whereas now I think, maybe people take me too seriously, if anything. You see, that's it.